The Ford Maverick is a little bit of an anomaly. This truck does not have the power, the towing capacity, or even the off-road capability that a bunch of other trucks offer, leaving you with this weird little hybrid truck that doesn't really fit in with the rest. Now, does that mean it shouldn't be here. Well, that's what we're here to figure out today, whether or not the Ford Maverick should have its own category or if it should even exist in the first place. My name's Jason and you're watching God in X. Now we're going to start with looks and the Maverick does not really do that much for me. I feel like it looks like the F-150's little brother, but the parents might have drank a little bit during pregnancy, something along those lines, making it look a little bit shorter and stub nose. I mean, the grill here is not very pronounced at all. It's kind of pushed in a little bit more than I'd like, giving you this kind of like Explorer look. I feel like this kind of looks like the front of one of the SUVs Ford has to offer with a tail at the end. And I think that's not that great, but throughout the car, it kind of doesn't get much better. It's a little bit narrow. It is a unibody truck, and that means that it's going to be a little bit stubbier. And I think that doesn't do the best for the Maverick. I think look wise, it definitely falls a little bit flat. And that's kind of where I think it falls the shortest as well. There are going to be a bunch of things that do elevate it up, but that is one thing that will take a lot of work to get over. So if you don't like the look of it, I don't blame you. And if you do, it definitely is a good thing for you. But me personally, I am just not a fan. Now the back of the Maverick is pretty dang standard. It looks like any old truck bed. And I think that's a good thing. I think we don't want this thing to stray further from being a traditional truck as that is kind of what you want when buying this. You want something that is a little bit more truck life, but efficient. With a four and a half cubic feet of bed space back here, it's kind of nice overall. It's like the perfect truck to help move things from like house to house. So you can be a, an efficient and helpful friend if anyone ever needs your help moving. It's nothing crazy, but one thing that is definitely not crazy is going to be the towing capacity on this bad boy. This can only tow 2,000 pounds without any upgrades. With some upgrades and some extra tweaking, it can tow to about 4,000 pounds, which is a little bit more respectable, but overall, it's nothing really comparable at all. I think it's definitely one of the biggest lacking parts here. It's definitely going to be a truck for carrying and efficiency, not for towing. You are not getting a big trailer on the back of this thing. Now, the engine of the Maverick is kind of one of the better parts of the truck, but there's a correct option and an incorrect option in my opinion. The incorrect option is going to, in fact, be in this truck right here, which is going to be the two liter four cylinder engine, which is an EcoBoost engine, and it gets you some good mileage and everything along those lines. But everything that this engine can do, the hybrid 2.5 liter engine does better. I really do think that that engine kind of just puts this one and makes it obsolete. So if you're going to get a Maverick and you want to have the best Eco one, the best horsepower, the best everything, you need to get the 2.5 liter hybrid engine and I can sign off on that with 100% confidence. Without that, I feel like the Maverick kind of falls short in every single category, but that engine really does keep it afloat a little bit more. Now the inside of the Ford Maverick isn't really anything special. I think one of the biggest downsides of the Maverick itself is going to be the lackluster interior. You have a bit of materials throughout that is kind of plasticky and cheap feeling. I think there's no real premium quality stuff in here. I do like the coloring though. The orange and blue is definitely a nice mix up compared to your standard blacks or gray. I really do think it is a phenomenal looking interior, but it's nothing special when it comes to features. There are going to be a bunch of weird things that I'm going to talk about real quickly. Like there are weird little side panels here for cup holders. And there's like a weird little hole next to your infotainment screen that genuinely can't fit anything. So it's just kind of like odd, but overall there is a bunch of nice things too. I mean, this has heated seats. It has a heated steering wheel, no cooled, but that's okay for the lower quality that this truck is going to be for the price point. There's going to be a bit of space for the driver and the passenger or the shotgun passenger, but the rear passengers aren't really in the best situation. I feel like it's kind of cramped back there. The infotainment screen is pretty lackluster. I mean, this thing 
uh, from what I could find, doesn't come standard with uh, wireless Apple CarPlay. I think it has wired Apple CarPlay in Android Auto, but wireless is just not something available. But yeah, the analog gauge cluster isn't anything super fantastic. It has the little digital screen in the middle, which doesn't do anything spectacular. But overall, I mean, it's not an uncomfy interior, but it's nothing really special. I think this is just an everyday vehicle and it's something that the everyday man could be happy in, but it's not perfect. Driving the Maverick is nothing insanely special. I mean, this thing doesn't feel incredibly heavy. It doesn't drag on. It turns pretty good. It actually turns a little bit too quickly. There's actually rollover warnings and everything spread around through the car just because of how the cab works. I really don't think it's going to be anything special. I feel like getting behind the wheel of one of these is getting behind the wheel of any other car on the planet, any other truck, any other whatever vehicle you want to be in. It's nothing fantastic. I mean, it really is just a smooth, steady drive experience and that's all you can really ask for right it's nothing crazy but it's nothing bad now maybe at the beginning I was a little bit too harsh saying the truck might not have a reason to exist because wholeheartedly I think it does I think this truck does a great job at being that middle ground to give you a nice truck experience without going too above and beyond I think this is the truck that gets you through the city with a little bit of extra storage space in the back it's not gonna do any heavy-duty work but it can carry things in the back with your truck bed and I think that's really where this stands strong you're going to have better mileage throughout the city you're not gonna be gas guzzling all the time and you still get that extra space and overall I do think it is a good option if you know what you're looking for if you want a normal truck this thing does not cut it if you put it next to something like an f-150 and expect it to do more towing capacity have more power do better off-road you are going to be surely disappointed so overall if you know what you're looking for and you need something small but you'd still like a truck bed this does the job and i think that's why it belongs in its own category let us know what you guys think down in the comments below and we will see you in the next one